Let's be real, this simple pep talk from Aunt May to Peter was the perfect scene from The Magnificent Spider-Man 2 because of the three main characters in the scene and what they represent. Peter Parker being the inspiring hero who needs inspiring. The random ass kid, Henry, representing those who need inspiring. And Aunt May representing that bridge between these two. And we gotta start off with our inspiring hero, Peter Parker, who needs inspiring since he's living a pretty miserable and pretty depressing life, which is absolutely perfect. And life's seriously so tough for Peter, even before the scene. Bro got no girl, no homie, no money, possible student loans. Man, fuck those student loans. Not to mention lack of direction to keep his head up, proving that even our heroes lack hope. Even though these heroes were the first people who showcased hope to us, Hell, to add insult to injury, Peter doesn't even have the greatest relationship with his Aunt May because the last time he spoke to her, he admitted that he was responsible for her husband's death, feeling so much guilt after visiting his uncle's grave. So he must have felt awkward visiting his Aunt May. But Aunt May specifically called for him, which must have surprised him. It's also probably because Ame needed help moving some boxes, but hey, that's just a theory. A film theory! And Peter was looking to be inspired, because throughout most of this film, his life was uninspiringly shitty. It's obviously not until the best girl ever, Ursula Digovich, gave him chocolate cake and milk. Like, Peter, open your fucking eyes. But that's for another video. But Peter's part to play in this scene was to listen and observe and see the world around him change. His Aunt May, who's at the young age of 69, God, I love that number, was making progress in her own life, moving away from his childhood home. So if Aunt May can make progress in her own life right now, why couldn't Peter? And Aunt May made sure he knew that. Peter doesn't resist what she had to say to him. In fact, he embraced it, further repelling Peter's momentum back as a hero. New York City needed, and the hero that Aunt May and Henry needed. Which, speaking of Henry, next, this random kid Henry, who represents those who need inspiring, makes this scene perfect. Yes, at face value, Henry just seems like a random ass kid in this scene, with not that much lines or significance. But what if I told you that Henry is an awesome representation of the youth that Spider Man brings hope to? Henry isn't just a random kid. He's an impressionable kid, constantly looking for direction in his life and the hope that comes with that. That's why he asked Peter. He'll be back, right? I don't know. Honestly, we're all looking for that sense of hope in our lives. Honestly, it represents the kid I was when I watched these films ages ago. Holy fuck, I'm old. But that's beside the point. Henry represents the kid who's experiencing everything around him and has no clue how to cope with it. That's why Spider-Man is so important to him and us. Because Spider-Man represents hope and a sense of direction in what's especially a very directionless time for a little boy. And what this scene does for that kid and for the audience, like myself, it reminds us that that hope may be gone for the moment, but the impact will never be forgotten. And overall, Henry makes this scene absolutely perfect by representing those who are in search of hope. And if you found this video brightening up your day a bit, just please support the channel by liking, commenting, and subscribing. I respond to every comment, so feel free to share your thoughts. Or don't. Honestly, I'm just grateful you guys made it this far, and honestly, took the time out of your day to watch this video. Anyways, back to the video. Finally, this scene is perfect because of Rosemary Harris's glorious Aunt May, representing the bridge between the uninspired who inspires and those who need inspiring. And despite that sounding pretty pretentious, Rosemary Harris's Aunt May is truly important, if not the most important supporting character in Spider-Man 2, being Peter's moral support, especially in this scene. It's honestly Aunt May's forgiveness of Peter that allows Peter to slowly forgive himself. Yes, Peter has his fault throughout these past two films, and he always seems to beat himself to a bloody pulp about it. Yet, his Aunt May still forgave and loved Peter. Even after their previous scene together, where Peter basically confessed for being responsible for 
Uncle Ben's death, her husband's death. That's a nuke of a confession he dropped, and not even Oppenheimer can create that kind of nuke. Yet Aunt May did the right thing and stepped away to process this entire nuke and not say anything she might regret. And she called back to him and reminded him that she's always there to support him, especially when she could tell how mentally drained Peter was. So mentally drained, he couldn't remember his own birthday. And honestly, she supported Peter by supporting Spider-Man and believing in the hero of Spider-Man. Whether or not Ame truly knew Peter was Spider-Man, the thing that mattered to her was that her nephew kept his head afloat mentally. Ame's a real one, truly supporting her nephew in truly a dire time for him. He doesn't seem like he's in the best mental headspace and she knew that. And she didn't add more insult to injury. She didn't keep pushing him down when he's already down enough. She held her hand out to him and helped him raise himself back up. And I think that's truly beautiful. That's why Rosemary Harris's Aunt May truly makes the scene absolutely perfect. So yeah, let's be real here. Aunt May's pep talk to Peter is Spider-Man 2's perfect scene because of the three main characters in the scene and what they represent. Peter being the inspiring hero who needs inspiring, the random ass kid Henry, representing those who need inspiring, and Aunt May representing the bridge between these two ideas. And this scene is a truly a prime example of the true love of comic books and true love of adaptation and all of that. It's just a true representation of what it means to love. I believe there's a hero in all of us that keeps us honest, gives us strength, makes us noble, and finally allows us to die with pride, even though sometimes we have to be steady and, and give up the thing we want the most. Even our dreams.